Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of this kit I bought uh, on Amazon. It is a, a hat for an M.2. Uh, I have an M.2 here for a full-size M.2. That's an 80 millimeter one. And it, uh, it come, it's a full kit and it comes with a power supply, the full power supply for a Pi 5. Uh, the power supply is a 27 watt one, which is needed for this, uh, for the Pi 5 when you are running uh, all the stuff I'm running. It also comes with, uh, it comes with a, a case for the Pi and it comes with instructions. Uh, I am going to put two terabytes on this. This is for my nine-year-old daughter. She is starting to do a little bit of computer programming and we are going to, uh, she's going to, uh, I'm going to disassemble this and then assemble it all again with her, but I, uh, she is uh, studying downstairs, so I am not going to take her away from that. So you have to stay under the umbrella and don't get hit. If you get hit with the rain, you lose a life. It comes with this uh, case also, and inside in the case is a fan. So I bought this whole kit uh, like this. Now you can buy them separately. I will review them all separately also. And it comes with all the standoffs for uh, putting uh, one on top of the other and the ribbon. It didn't come with the 980 Pro, obviously this costs more than all the rest put together. And inside in the box, I will take the box apart. There should be an official uh, Raspberry Pi uh, heat sink and fan. Seems to have a tough coat on the outside. Well, so we'll see what they have stored inside in this. Yes, they have the standoffs here, like the standoffs here, one, two, three, four, five. And they have little tabs for the bottom. I presume they are going to put them on the bottom of this afterwards. It, it comes with the uh, Raspberry Pi Active Cooler for, for the 5. So it says Raspberry five Pi f for Raspberry Pi 5. And it has the wiring for plugging it into the Raspberry Pi. And of course I have a Raspberry Pi here. And uh, this is the 8 uh, gigabyte one. If you are unsure what they are after giving you, uh, it, there's a very easy way to find out. Uh, if you lock here, and these are the, the, the resistors that are going across here, and if there's a resistor on 8G, you have the 8G one. So we have the 8 gigabyte one. If it was down here, it would be, uh, they say one. There hasn't been a one yet, I don't think, and I'm not sure if they're going to ever make a one, but the board, this board is eight. And they're a little bit difficult to get. But that doesn't come with it, obviously. I bought the pie separately. Uh, they're a little, still a little bit difficult to get. Yeah, they're a little bit scarce. So uh, we get, uh, this, is called, this is what you call a hat, okay? So this is going to fit on top of the pie. This is going to take the NVMe. So this is going to take the NVMe full size one, the, the 80 millimeter, which goes to there. And going to, I don't have an, uh, I don't have an adapter to put into my PC for this M.2, but I don't need to worry about that because all I have to do is put it onto an SD card and then transfer it over. So I will just install it from an SD drive. I will install the version. There is a version for, uh, on, on the Pi website for the, for the Pi 5. So this one just goes in here like this and this one goes down like that. And we don't have a screw for, I have screws for it. I, I don't need to worry about that. I have screws and there's screws in here as well. So I'll put that aside. I will review that later. This M.2 is better than the official uh, M.2 that uh, comes from Raspberry because this one will take a full size 80 millimeter, 22 by 80 millimeter. I put the screw in here already, if you're wondering. That screw is in the packet that comes with uh, uh, with it. all the accessories and all the standoffs uh, actually come in the packet as well. It can, it's, it's from S2, uh, S, they call them S2 Pi. And so this goes in here after this is up like this and this slides in and if it doesn't slide in easy don't force it, okay? So that means if it, if it doesn't slide in means you have it in wrong. Now that is in the whole way, you cannot see any of the, the ribbon wires there and then you just push this one down. The same with the hat. 
So when this is going up like that, I will see. So it goes in like this. So this has to be opened out first. When that's opened out, these will, this will go in easy. Some people say they have problems with these always, that's why, and they break them, I don't know. Now that's in like that, you see, and I push the black one down there, and then I will have to get that ribbon and bring it in at an angle like that, through here. No, that's okay, do it that way, I think. Like that, something like that. And then that one goes in here. But before you do that, you need to get all your standoffs together. We will already have the active cooler in at this stage. It'll be already pressed in here. It will not affect this, okay? So this one will be going down there and this one goes down on top of it. So where I'll just take the cable out for now. I'll take the cable, ribbon cable out. I don't want to damage it while I am showing you. So you can imagine that it's already in. These ones go down on the first 10 pins. That's where it's getting its power for, for the, uh, for the, M.2 card, so that it will be sitting like this, okay? But it will have the standoffs. The standoffs come here with this. You don't need to worry about it. Here's the standoff. They even come with a screwdriver and it comes with extra screws and, and, and a standoff for, this standoff here is for the 40, the 60 and the 40, I think. You put a screw in on the far side of this, it goes on different and it will slot you will push this in and it will slot and you will screw it from the far side. You will work that out yourself, but we are using full size, this full size Samsung 980 Pro. You might say that's overkill. Um, if, if you ch want to change and use the Raspberry for something else, these are great. I have them in all my computers. They're economical, they're more reliable than hard drives and uh, they are, of course, way faster and quieter. So, uh, so we, when I've put together again, I will, I will come back in a second and I will have it all put together and putting it together with my daughter. Fits on. You, you, you will take this pad off and, and you will know what way it goes on. The fan goes towards the USB ports and these things just push in to these holes that are here readily made for them. So this one goes in here like this and you're wondering where this goes. No, it does not go in here or in here. It goes in over here on this side here. Do you see this little one here? There's a little cover on it and we'll just pull the cover off like that. Lesser. And you do it gently and there's a spring on them. You can take them off again, but uh, so I'm going to fit them then and then I'm going to show you them afterwards. I'm going to fit them with my daughter is going to fit them. Kira and myself, we put it together, uh, it, only it, it took only minutes to put it all together. Uh, we put the, the, the small standoffs joined to the big standoffs here, if you understand, so that the board will be sitting up from the bottom of the case, and I think that's the way it's supposed to be. So in other words, the female of this one has gone into this one, and, and then we, are, uh, we screwed this one down here on top of it. We screwed the hat down with the screws that came with it. And uh, the ribbon cable was much easier than I thought it would be. Uh, I put it in before I screwed this down, but I was very careful. So we're we're going to put in uh, we're going to put in the M.2 card now. So that's that's a simple job. Uh, it it only goes in one way. So we push it in at about thirty degrees like that, and make sure it's in the whole way. Get your screwdriver ready. Get your little screw ready. And we put this in here like this. Now we just screw that down. Now everything is tightened up like that. Uh, so then we put it into the case. We will see, <laughs> will it go into the case? Uh, it should because uh, the hat came from the case and uh, so we will put that in, see will it go in like that. And sure enough, does and the hole, there's a hole here for the button, so this has to be uh, screwed down now. So these holes should be lining up here, which they are, and uh, we will put in some screws here in each corner. Don't tighten them the whole way, but tighten them in a bit, and it hold it'll hold it up a bit for you for to put in the next last two. 
and then you can turn it upside down like that then and uh, put in the other two screws and when you have them all in then then you start tightening them so don't tighten this one either and I already put these rubbers on the bottom to keep it up uh, don't put them where the screws are you might be tempted to do that but then you won't be able to take it out anymore so now I'm going to tighten everything down and we're going to when we've this done then we are going to bring it down I have uh, I already put uh, I already put the Pi software on an, S, an old SD card. Of this there is software in the Pi software. There's uh, you can transfer it from uh, the card, and then we ch change the boot order in the configuration file. So we, we, uh, that's pretty simple. Uh, and then we will put the screws in here, and it's built in. We are, 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 we will we will only connect it up with Wi-Fi when we go down. Uh, down now we're going to connect it up and I'm going to uh, do a little bit of uh, tweaking with, with Kira Shore how to use a little bit of Linux like uh, how to, uh, she never used terminal before and I've already told her uh, you, you must uh, type in it exactly the way you see it and the, we'll be doing uh, sudo we'll be doing sudo app uh, up date and sudo apt upgrade and get some programs on it she wants to put on it the first thing she wants to put on it is scratch tree and she wants to put on krita as well because she does a lot of drawing and uh, and she's i'm going to let her work away at it herself we will use probably use firefox i think it's uh, the I think we'll just use Firefox for the, and she can use YouTube, and she can watch YouTube uh, tutorials, and then I'll do the Raspberry tutorial with her. We're down here in my office now, in Kira's little corner in the office, and uh, we've installed Raspberry, and she is already starting to use... Uh, Scratch. She is already, we've already installed Scratch on it, and she's made a few games, and she's made a few... Uh, animations uh, this is the one yeah th this is what it looks like it's only this small I have it plugged into this uh, normal screen here and we have I have wireless keyboard and wireless mouse on it I just plugged the dongle off one Logitech into it and it worked straight away so we didn't have a problem with that so Kira's made this game it's uh, she I think you have three lives or something like that Yes. And uh, when it's raining, you have to make sure you're running on, under the umbrella. So it she's la it lasts 60, sec 60 seconds. It's a 60 second game, she says. Okay. She have, uh, we're using Firefox on it and she has YouTube and she's also got Krita on it. She's painting with Krita. So she's going to play this game for you now. Now? So you have to stay in under the umbrella and don't get hit. If you get hit with the rain, you lose a life. I got, I got She's one only life. two, one life left. <laughs> oh. uh, game over, Kira. No, ro no robux for you. We play one more. One more. Oh, we here. Really? <laughs> God. You're not very good at this, are you? No. Why, why are you not going? Go smoothly. That's it. No. <laughs> You still two lives left. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't get one. Things so slow. It's random. It's, it's programmed random, so you, uh, there's there's no specific uh, place that the umbrella is going to move to, because it was set up uh, as a random between one axis and the other axis. And you're doing better now. Uh, Thirty-seven <laughs> seconds. All, sometimes it just takes a big dive over to one side. Hello, so one she life. programmed it. She, what's the name? What's the program? So she programmed this in Scratch Three. Uh, uh, so uh, later oh. on, so she she uh, lost all her lives there again. I'll put a link in the description where we bought all this and thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.